Once upon a time, there was a king. He loved nothing but fanciful clothes. He would summon the best tailors in his whole kingdom to make his royal outfits. Three times a day, the king would change into a new outfit. He had never once worn each outfit twice. One day, a mysterious mist filled the air all over the kingdom. Anyone who breathed in the mist became very sick, and no doctors could cure the strange disease. Everyone started to cover their noses and mouths with masks to protect themselves from the mysterious mist. The king knew about this disaster and became worried. He was worried that a face mask would cover his royal handsome face, and no mask would match his fancy royal outfit. So he ordered the royal tailors to make face masks that would not cover his royal handsome face, and would match his fanciful royal outfits. But none of the tailors could make a mask that will not cover the king's. Royal face. They tried to use the best materials that they can find in the royal kingdom, and made the most beautiful designs to please the king. But the king got angry instead, and ordered them to be taken away. He then put out notices all over the kingdom to look for the best tailor to make the best royal mask. The next day, many tailors came from all over the world, and tried to make the best mask to make the king happy. But none of the masks was good enough for the king to wear. All of them were taken away, except for one, who did not make any mask at all. The king asked him furiously, "Why have you not made any mask as ordered?" The tailor answered the king very calmly. Your Majesty, I have sewn so many royal outfits and so many masks for so many kings all over the world. Yet I have never seen a king as handsome as you. No mask sewn in a day will match your royal handsome face. Please, Your Majesty, grant me three days, and three days are all I need. By then, I will present you. With the best mask that no other kings will have. The king was happy to hear the tailor's beautiful words. He agreed to give the tailor three days in the kingdom with royal hospitality to make his royal mask. Three days later, the king was excited to see his new mask. The tailor bowed to the king to present the mask on a golden tray, but there was nothing on the tray. The king got angry again and shouted, "Where is the mask? There is nothing on the tray." The tailor carefully made a gesture of picking something from the tray, as if he was holding a piece of cloth, but no one could see anything. The tailor replied to the king, "Your Majesty, this royal mask is made from a magic cloth." That I brought with me from a faraway country, it will fit no one except your royal handsome face. Please, please allow me to put it on for you. The tailor then pretended to put something around the king's face. He then announced, "The best mask on the most handsome royal king." All the guards, nonetheless, did not see any mask, but all of them feared. That the king will be angry again, so they all applauded for the king. They praised him and said they had never seen such a beautiful mask ever before. The king was very happy to hear the cheers and praises. He looked into the mirror and see nothing but his own face. After admiring his own face in the mirror, he said, "Indeed, this is the best mask that I have ever seen. 
It fit me so well that my handsome royal face can still be seen. You shall be rewarded handsomely. The king could not wait to go out on the street to show off his new mask to the people. He ordered for a parade for everyone to gather around the royal square where the mysterious mists still drifting in the air. Meanwhile, the tailor took his reward and ran away as far as he could, with a mask on, of course. The end. Ah, wait. What happened to the king in the end? Everyone was shocked to see the king without a mask on the street. His face was as naked as can be. The mysterious mist got to the king and he fell sick for a long, long time.